Hey, good morning, Facebook. It is Friday morning. Had a, a great morning. I got up and did radio this morning for a couple of hours. But I'm gonna tell you some man. I'm about to go to the uh, get dressed and go over here to the church. And try to help get everything set up for my uncle Blue. But this morning, we want to thank God for clarity and understanding. That's what we want to thank God for, clarity and understanding. And being that we've had six deaths in three months, sometimes one death can send a person to a state of depression to the point where they're thinking that our family is cursed and God don't love them and God, how can you take away our loved ones and, and stuff, man? But what I want to thank God for this morning is clarity and understanding. I understand that this is the cycle of life. I understand that my grandparents had grandparents and their grandparents had grandparents. And I understand, and one thing, a few things I want to thank God for this morning is my mind and clarity and understanding. And thank God for just allowing me to, uh, to, to, to just, 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 I get it. I get it. Thank you, God, for, for enclosing me with, with, with some some knowledge that that you gave me and this is going to be tough for my cousins because it's their father and he had grandkids and that's what i really feel bad for and not just them anybody that's having a funeral today or tomorrow or this weekend or next week or had one last week or months before and we just just praying and we just thank god for everything i just want everybody uh, pray for my family this morning, but I want you to be encouraged. We're going to be praying for your family. And uh, we just thank God. We went years and years and years. See, we, we get so caught up in the focusing on the part that could be negative, And we get to, like, God, I had all this death. But what about the 20 years when nobody died, God? See, that just brought me joy right there. 20 years and not no major deaths. You know, your great-grandmama died, your grandparents died in between, but just ain't nobody been murdered and ain't nobody died in no car accident, man. And, you know, with some people have to deal with these sudden losses and God has just been so wonderful to our family and just allowed us to love on our loved ones, allowed us to say goodbye to each and every last one of them, you know, and uh, even my uncle, who, who we bury in today, he was just at my house two weeks ago. We sat around. He just sat over there. We ate and we talked and we had a business meeting because we knew he was going to pass away. And we talked about some stuff and, and, and came over here late one night and sat over here all night and we just talked. And I thank God for that. I thank God that I had an opportunity to thank my uncle and and my other uncle and my granddad, I thank God for just, I thank God for wisdom. I thank God for leadership. I thank God for allowing me to be a role model to ones that really just appreciate what I try to do for our family and for other families and that, that respect it and understand it and appreciate it. And I just try to make this as easy as possible. I try to set up a a really good celebration for him and not make it sad. I don't want those grandkids to be traumatized and call it a homegoing celebration and, and, and just make it just an awesome experience for the generation after us. Cause we was growing up, funerals was dark and sad, you know, but, but it's just a new day. And, and we just going to get into thanking God for the light that he, uh, allow allowing somebody like these wonderful people to be in our life and we're gonna praise God and thank God for it and we just look forward to going to the other side at some point so man I'm at peace this morning